Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, right triangle uh, ABC, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that uh, this uh, side AB is represented by X, this side BC is represented by Y, and finally, this uh, hypotenuse uh, AC is represented by Z. And moreover, X plus Y plus Z equals to 120, and uh, x square plus y square plus uh, z square equal to 5202 and now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, triangle uh, abc please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100 percent true to the scale let's go ahead and get started and here's our action plan since we are interested in calculating the area of this uh, triangle uh, ABC. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area equals to a half times uh, base uh, times height. And in our case, our base is uh, X and our height uh, is Y. So therefore, the area of this uh, triangle is going to be a half uh, times uh, X uh, times Y. So therefore now our task is uh, to find the value of x times y divided by 2. And here's our very first step. Let me go ahead and label uh, this very first equation x plus y plus z equals to 120 as uh, equation uh, number 1. And the second equation x square plus y square plus z square equal to 5202. I'm going to label this one as equation uh, number 2. And now let's recall the Pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square. Let me call this uh, longest leg uh, our hypotenuse uh, side uh, c. This uh, horizontal side I'm going to label this one as lowercase a and this side uh, lowercase b. Then our this uh, equation is going to become uh, simply x uh, square plus uh, y square equal to z square and now let's focus on our equation number two x square plus y square plus z square equal to 5202 and we know our x square plus y square value is uh, z square so i'm going to replace this x square plus y square by z square over here so therefore after substitution this is going to become uh, z square plus uh, z square equal to 5000 202. Let's combine the like terms on the left hand side. This is going to become 2z square equal to 5202. Let's divide both sides by 2. And here we can see 2 and 2 cancels out. So therefore uh, our z square value turns out to be 2601. Uh, Let's go ahead and undo this uh, square by taking a square root uh, on uh, both uh, sides and we can see that this uh, square and square root is gone so therefore uh, our uh, z value turns out to be 51 uh, units and uh, this is our z value so therefore our uh, this uh, z value turns out to be 51 uh, units and here's our next step let's focus on this uh, equation uh, number one and here I have copied down uh, this equation 1, x plus y plus z equals to 120. And we already figured out our z value, which is uh, 51. So therefore, I am going to substitute uh, z value over here by 51. So therefore, this equation is going to become uh, x plus y plus uh, 51 equals to 120. Let me go ahead and subtract uh, 51 uh, from both uh, sides and we can see that this uh, 51 and this negative 51 this is gone so therefore our x plus y value turns out to be equal to 69 and now let me go ahead and uh, square uh, both uh, sides x plus y whole square and uh, 69 whole square and now let's recall this uh, famous identity a plus b whole square could be written as uh, a square plus b square plus 2 times a b and we are going to apply it on the left hand side of this equation 
So therefore our left hand side equation is going to become x square plus uh, y square plus uh, 2 times uh, xy equals to 4761. Let me go ahead and label uh, this equation as our equation uh, number 3. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this equation 2 once again. And here I have copied it down. And now let's focus on uh, z square. We know our z value is 51. So this uh, is going to become uh, 51 uh, whole uh, square. So therefore this equation is going to become x square plus uh, y square plus uh, 51 whole square equal to 5202. And now we know 51 square is uh, 2601. So therefore this is going to become uh, x square plus uh, y square plus 2601 equals to 5202. And now let's go ahead and subtract uh, 2601 from both sides. This is gone. So therefore uh, our x square plus uh, y square value turns out to be 2601. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, equation uh, 3. And here we have copied it down. x square plus y square plus 2xy equals to 4761. And we already figured out our x square plus y square value as uh, 2601. So therefore I'm going to replace this part uh, by 2601. So therefore I can write uh, 2601 plus uh, 2 times uh, xy equal to 4761. Now let's go ahead and uh, subtract uh, 2601 from both sides. This is gone. So therefore uh, our 2 times xy value turns out to be 2160. Now let's go ahead and divide both sides by 2. So therefore uh, our x times y value turns out to be 1080. And here's our final step. Let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, triangle ABC. And now let's recall once again the area of a triangle formula. Area equals to half times uh, base times height. And we know our base is uh, x and our height is y. So therefore the area of uh, this uh, triangle is going to be x times y divided by 2. And we know our x times y value is 1080. So I'm going to replace it uh, over here. So therefore the area of this uh, triangle is going to be, let's go ahead and substitute that value, 1080 divided by 2. So that is going to be 540 square units. Now let's make an observation. We can see that we figured out the area of this uh, triangle without finding the value of uh, x uh, and y. And here's your assignment. Can you figure out the x uh, and y value on your own? So thus our uh, brown triangle area turns out to be 540 square units. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.